world. Stay within the domestic scene. Just some couple of uh, moments within the week, the Padisco uh, Academy thought it fit to award and recognize sport personalities who had done pretty well. And one of such sport personalities was um, the NNL chairman, uh, George Alao. Al Al Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, George Alao. He was awarded um, a fantastic um, generic award as sport personality of the year to commensurate what he has done with the NNL and we thought it fit to also speak to the chairman of Padesco Sports Academy who felt that over time a lot of people have been putting in so much when it comes to sports on the ground and they as an academy thought it wise to give that recognition to those who deserve it and also Dr. Uh, Matis Osondu of the BDFA was also on ground to grace that occasion and he actually gave his input to support that particular event. Now, when people, they say celebrate me in my life, yeah. not when I'm dead. Mm -hmm. And what the Padesco Sport Academy has decided to do is to celebrate top-notch sports personality within the country as they are actually achieving and delivering. When I heard I was happy, Padesco is not just going to have the football academy, but this is the first thing they're doing now. Um, yeah, I did many editions of their yeah. ceremony, but they've been involved in football academies here and there, taking young players from the streets. Exactly. So um, I'm, I'm impressed what we've done so far. We just believe they can do more. And all the academies that are recognized, I mean, should follow suit because that's what we're talking about, uh, fostering units at the same time, giving these youth and these young ones something to cheer for, which is play football because oh. that's what they enjoy doing oh. in the proper way. But I'm happy now this award now is going to tell you. A lot of obstacles they can, they can do more. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'll allow getting this. I mean, this award. Look at what he did for the for NNL. He brought in a lot of ideas and um, executed ideas. Point out to, I mean, it's, it's simply fantastic. I'm happy he got such an award. Now, for Padesco, what do you think um, this sort of gesture would do? for the young ones who are coming up who are seeing people being recognized for what they've given into sports itself because uh the padesco talent show which was tagged it was put in place to recognize and acknowledge the impute of sport personality male and female so i i think it's quite notable from padesco because um what you should be taking for right now is recognition from government so you can probably get some ventures and expand that i mean their coast because um we, we are talking about facilities for these young ones to train with that is what they're lacking for me because like I said, it's not the first one I'm doing, which I believe they can do more. Um, it has really given us, look, and this goes here to stay, and they have a lot to do. So it's just for us to key into what they have, not just the youth now, the media should part of it. Because the media, I mean, they play a major role when it comes to letting people know what's happening within, you know, let me do the right here right now, because Padesco is one of the, I mean, an academy around. Yep. So we don't believe they can get bigger if um, a lot of stakeholders get involved. All right, let's quickly listen to what the chairman has to say on the course of that event itself, Padesco Talent Show. talents and also celebrating individuals and corporate bodies who have contributed to where we are today. Am I? Well, the way this person in Nigeria is, okay, I don't know, uh, and for now, I don't think anybody will say he's impressed, but we believe that we are on a journey, and we believe that we are, we are going to be okay, fine, but uh, it's not it's always easy to, just as a human being, you know, it's not easy to become great. So the same way it is with Nigeria too, so it's a, it's a work in progress, I believe that we'll get there. With Padisco Sports, which way forward next five years? Padisco Sports, uh, like I also said, is a journey that we have been back on. We have been here for 15 years, and in the next five years, we see ourselves um, being a household name in sports in Nigeria, in Africa, and across the world. I believe this will be achieved because where we are today, we are trying to harness as many resources as possible so that we're able to get exactly where we plan to be. And where we want to be is being able to develop great players. Not just about the only the ones that you hear in the name of television, but developing them at the grassroots level is very, very key and important to us. Like I said before, we have kids who are three years, who are five years, who are seven, ten, eleven years. So this is where the work is. So we believe that by the time we empower them with the, the basics in this world, then when they get up there, they will find it difficult to make it. My name is Peter. I'm the CEO of Thank you.
I'm happy. Now, Sundam delighted over seeing a man who has given himself to sports and trying to make the environment better. All right, welcome. That's the chairman of Padesco giving um, a proper brief of what the event um, is all about. We want to wish them the very best as they proceed into the second edition. We know to get bigger. Stay within the